and I can pop these different color balloons. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to look at the balloon pop game that I've been developing using Pygame and OpenCV. So basically, we'll be using our hands to pop different balloons. So as you can see, this is created in Python and there's a little bit of animation going on on the left and the right. And uh, these balloons, uh, basically I created a few images and uh, as you can see, the animation is not that great because uh, I did it. But uh, of course you can bring in your own animations and that will be much smoother and much better. As you can hear, there's some audio at the back. This is the background music and then we also have the start button so if i hover over the start it will be a different sound and if i click on it it will be a different sound so now the camera turns on and as you can see my finger has a green uh, what do you call cursor on it and i can pop these different color balloons so they come in different sizes they are generated randomly in different locations so as you can see it is working quite nicely and you can see there is an animation here as well so for example right now you can see this part is animated so it's not just one frame it's couple of frames working together um, I, I believe there are 10 or 11 frames and at the end you will get your score so for example you had 782 and this score is not just based on um, what do you call how many balloons did you hit but also how fast did you hit them so how fast did you pop them so if you pop them quickly then you will get more score so of course you will miss a few and that is uh, understandable but uh, the rest you can grab uh, and you can do a few at the same time as well and this is quite fun for kids to play we have 30 seconds so 30 seconds are up and this is the score and again we have a UI uh, element which is our button and we can click on the back button and it will take us to the main screen so as you can see here we have the scene menu and the scene game so each uh, what do you call interface is basically a different script so which we communicate between each other and we run it so all of this is done in object oriented way so you will be learning that as well so this is a very nice way to start learning how to program uh, especially to enhance your programming skills so we will be looking at scalability as well because when we are creating games we have to think ahead and we have to uh, be a little bit efficient to make the game work properly so all of this will be available in the game development course so do check it out and the link will be in the description and i will see you in the next video